Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get the classic volume mixer uh, working in Windows 11. So if you're using Windows 11, you go to the volume control here, you notice you have your basic slider here. But if you'd like to have the old school uh, classic volume mixer like we saw in older versions of Windows, you could easily add that. So there's a couple ways you could do it. Uh, you could run this executable, which will run it uh, one time and you know, leave it there. You could close it, of course. Um, but if you log off and back on or reboot, it's going to be gone. And if you want to keep it, you could run this little setup executable here as well. So when you download this, it should be okay. When you download this, you might get a uh, warning from your browser saying it might not be safe and asking if you want to keep it. So obviously it's up to you if you trust things you download from the internet, but it seems to be okay. So let's try the standalone one first. So you just run it and you can see you have it down here. And if, it's, if you find it's hidden in here, you could click on the up arrow and then drag it down into there like that. That way it's not you know, shown in your kind of hidden items here, like it just did there. And now you click on it, and you have your speakers, applications, and I have YouTube going here, so it's got one for Microsoft Edge, and then you could, you know, adjust them accordingly. And then if you don't want it, you just right-click on it and exit. All right, now it's gone. So now if you want to keep it permanently, you could run the setup thing here. Just install it real quick. It even tells you about moving it down to the uh, this visible section here. So now it's there, and you can still exit it, um, but when you reboot, it'll start back up on its own, or at least it should. And even if you don't exit it and you reboot, it'll be there when you come back. So I'll put a link in the description where you can get both these guys here, and you can down decide if you want to use just the standalone, you know, whenever you need it, or if you run this, then it'll be there for good. And then, of course, if you don't want it there anymore and you have the permanent one, you could just go to your apps and do an uninstall, and then I'll remove it out of there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.